Hello friends, welcome you to my YouTube channel. This video is about computer BIOS settings. Basic input output system is the built in core software responsible for booting up our system. BIOS manages data flow between operating system and attached devices. As soon as the PC turns on, the BIOS runs a process called POST power on self test that determines whether attached devices are operating correctly or not. If everything is ok, the computer continues to loading the operating system. If BIOS detects any problems, an error screen will appear or a series of beep codes will sound, indicating that something has gone wrong. CMOS – Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor Computer stores all low-level settings like system date, time, password and hardware configuration on a special chip called CMOS. The CMOS battery supplies power to CMOS chip. Even when the computer is shut down, this battery is usually a watch type battery which can supply power for a year or more. The main menu shows information of BIOS version, processor type, clock frequency, processor speed, memory speed, cache memory details, total RAM installed in the system. In main menu, we can change date and time of the system. The second menu is configuration menu. It has the following options. Now click on onboard devices. This submenu contains some port information. Here you can enable or disable USB, serial, parallel, PS2, audio, LAN, numlock key settings. If you go to USB submenu, here you can enable or disable different USB ports of the system. Likewise, you can enable or disable serial port which is used for serial communication device, parallel port which is used for printers, for example dot matrix printers. You can enable or disable PS2 port which is used for keyboard or mouse connection. Here you can enable or disable your built-in audio device of this motherboard. There is a choice to select either front panel connection or back panel connection. You can also enable or disable built-in LAN port which is used for connecting your system to the network. NumLock keys can be enabled when your system starts. Click on SATA drives submenu. Here you can enable or disable the SATA controller. You can select SATA either IDE or AHCI mode. Different SATA port shows hard disk drives, optical drives connected into the motherboard. Now go to video submenu. It shows different options. We can set primary display adapter that is integrated graphics device IGD. We can set IGD memory size. We can choose primary adapter. This option enable or disable system built-in speaker to alert if video not detected. Fan control and real-time monitoring menu shows CPU fan speed processor temperature, memory temperature, memory voltage, processor core voltage, etc. Let us move to security menu. Here you can set supervisor password to access CMOS setup 
and user password to access the system. This part shows how to set supervisor password and user password. Now save the changes and restart the system. Now set the user level password. Now save the changes and restart the system. Now the system is protected by both supervisor and user level password. This part of the video shows how to remove both the passwords. Here press enter key twice without any password. Now both the passwords are removed. Now save the changes and restart the system. Another important option in this menu is virtualization technology. By enabling that provide hardware support for virtualization. Move to boot configuration menu. It shows different boot drive options that is hard disk drive, optical drive, removable drive, network boot, USB drive etc. Here you can set the boot device priority according to your requirements. Another important option in this menu is boot display options. Here you can enable or disable to show some function keys when the system starts. The last menu is exit. Here you can exit the BIOS by saving changes or discarding the changes. If something went wrong or if you want to set default BIOS options, you can select load default BIOS profile to bring back it to factory settings. This ends the bio settings operation. Hope you find this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Click bell icon to get notified on new videos. Thank you for watching.